You love Korean food, but not sure what you can do with Korean chili paste gochujang? So today I'm going to show you three different gochujang recipes you can try at home. Okay, the first recipe is gully creamy gochujang pasta. So you need a store-bought gochujang. You can easily find this from any big grocery store at Korean food section. And this whole package contains quite a lot that you can try plenty Korean recipes at home. First, add oil to a frying pan. Add sliced garlic and stir fry it. Then I added my bacon and stir fry for 1 to 2 minutes. Add one big tablespoon gochujang and also scrape the remaining that is stick to your spoon. And mix to season gochujang flavor all over to garlic and bacon. Now add cooking cream. Boil to thicken the gochujang cream sauce. Now I'm going to prepare my pasta noodle. I chose fettuccine here. Once the noodle is nicely cooked, add into our savory creamy gochujang sauce and mix well together. Add some pasta water that I saved a layer and cook for one more minute and serve on a plate. Here is my garlic creamy gochujang pasta. The second recipe is gochujang tuna rice ball. Add butter to a pot and once melted, add chopped onion and saute. When butter meets onion, onion tastes even better. Add 1 tablespoon soy sauce and add 1 can tuna in olive oil. Add 1 tablespoon gochujang and mix well. Add 1 teaspoon of brown sugar Some chili powder or flakes for extra kick Prepare a bowl of rice Place the gochujang tuna on top In a fried egg, sprinkle some sesame seed and seaweed flakes. Yes, this is really simple. You only need a few ingredients here. But the butter, onion, and tuna coated in gochujang paste, it is absolutely delicious. You can make it for your quick lunch or list up this recipe for your dinner when you feel tired but still want to cook for yourself at home. The last recipe is gochujang chicken stir fry. Two big tablespoon gochujang. About one tablespoon soy sauce. A third teaspoon black pepper powder. A 
about one tablespoon of corn syrup or sugar. Two tablespoon Korean cooking wine. And add minced garlic. Now prepare a deep frying pan or a wok. Place roughly diced onion on the bottom and layer with chicken flats. Add our mixed gochujang sauce and cover with sliced sweet potato and cabbage. This gochujang chicken stir fry is similar to takgalbi, which is the popular Korean spicy chicken stir fry dish. But takgalbi, you need Korean perilla leaves and a few more Korean sauces. But this is what I cook for myself when I'm craving for takgalbi. But it is simple, but the taste can replace takgalbi. I'm lazy to sanitize my kitchen cutting board after cutting my chicken pieces. So I'm just gonna use my scissor to uh, cut my chicken flats into bite-sized pieces. Add generous amount of chili flakes. And add one tablespoon fish sauce to add saltiness. And taste the sweet potato if it is completely cooked. Finish up with chopped spring onion. Enjoy this easy to make, spicy, and healthy gochujang chicken stir fry. Thank you for watching. I hope you all can try these recipes at home.